what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another Madden video today. So guys, our final batch of Team of the Year players have dropped right here. We got a new Micah Parsons, new Isaiah Bacheco, and all that goodness, guys. But of course, you guys tell me what your thoughts about Team of the Year. Do you guys like the players that they did release and all that stuff? Did some of your favorite players or some star-studded standouts get a Team of the Year card? And who do you think kind of got a snub inside of Team of the Year and all that stuff? But of course, we are on the side account. I want to give a huge shout out to EA Sports and the Game Changer Pro program guys they did hook your boy up and we are finally getting gameplay today on that man right there to a man so of course we've already done gameplay on josh allen his team of the year card and that card is actually really really nice it, it, it is really dope um i actually did record a video right afterwards um like the next day because i had to wait for the like the time um for of course locking in the arena and all that stuff but i did do a recording on tua um and i already i, I do have my little opinions on who's the better one we'll get into that a little later on in the video but um we did do the triple threat video if you guys haven't checked out i picked up all the wide receivers in team of the year with cd lamb tyree kill and of course amon st brown and in that video we use josh allen so for today we are going to be going ahead and doing that with tua right here so i want to test them out with these three receivers as well these cards are both fantastic guys i know everything is better on Tua because he's on the lineup so it's hard to do a comparison um because if we do it like that now it looks like josh allen has better stats but um yeah man uh, um, we're gonna have some fun with this card. I want to see how he plays now with, of course, these three new wide receivers because, man, they are stellar, man. They are very, very good, dude. Um, so, yeah, man, we're gonna jump into some gameplay and all Madden, see how Tua is. And, yeah, man, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, we got our opponent right here in all Madden with, of course, the Bengals. We are a little bit higher overall here, but we got a really, really good offense regardless. Um, I know my overall is getting lowered by, of course, our defense is not the greatest, but it's all right. We're going to show up. We are playing in the frozen tundra, and Tua didn't play too good in the cold, man, <laughs> but um, but that's all right. Weather shouldn't affect his, his team of the year card. Like I said, I've already done gameplay with Tua, so I have a little bit of a feel of how he plays and everything like that it's just this time we have these star studded um wide receivers like Tyree Kill who we're gonna go we're gonna go to him we're gonna see Randy Moss is a big body and Ed Reed mm, this might be a little tough but we're gonna try to see what we can get as okay no we're gonna have to hit the under with Amon St. Brown Amon Ra and oh say how St. Brown's gonna get hit by Ed Reed all right um but yeah man what one thing that I would say if I'm looking at both of these uh, quarterbacks right here and you guys kind of saw it right there you guys kind of saw right there with of course that little like um that little safe check down route that you guys have um you guys know josh allen he did go on slide arm sling that if you guys didn't check out that josh allen video go and check it out so you know what i'm talking about um i know like some quarterbacks do it too like patrick mahomes and patrick mahomes does that in real life and everything but you guys can kind of see tua it is realistic right it's realistic he is going up and he's winding that arm and then he's he's slinging the pigskin right that's realistic and all that stuff but if i'm looking at these two quarterbacks both these two quarterbacks are very very good um they're both quick they both have really really good accuracy their stats are very similar but it's if we're looking at both these guys that little bit of a difference in throwing animation gives josh allen just a little bit more of an edge i feel like just because that is kind of huge man because he was throwing dots like that little sling of the flick of the wrist basically um and he was throwing them 50 yards down the field and having pinpoint accuracy which was insane to see man um again both these cars are really really nice um and i'm gonna go ahead and hit st brown here nice deep ball and we get our first overthrow right there but um you don't know if that's the the animation right there but that's all right but um yeah man both these cars are fast too like look at that speed give me a little stop and go Ooh, try to speed that stop and go here they do run really good um i think josh allen does a little bit better running stats but um but it's still not bad and, and under pressure they're they're no problem we get this to tony gonzalez hurtling in there for that touchdown let's go let's go that, that, that was pretty big that was pretty big um but let's keep it rolling See if we can get a two-pointer. Oh, that was that was a bad read. That was a bad read by me. Um, that's all right. That's all right. We're going to keep it rolling. We're up 6 nothing. Hopefully, my opponent didn't do anything. And we can walk away here with the W. Maybe that overthrown was the frozen tundra, man. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but, yeah, man, both of these cards are great. Nonetheless, um, I feel like whatever quarterback, if you guys are picking one up inside of Team of the Year, is a good plus. Because you never know when we're going to see mobile quarterbacks once again. Um, because we're, th these two are really, really nice. We got Lamar. 
Lamar, we got Patrick Mahomes, we got these two. We could go into like maybe we get like I don't know they have Payne Manning or like Drew Brees or like some t- t- some type of like pocket passers um, instead of having mobile quarterbacks. Let's go ahead and try to Tyree Kill. Let's see you get that Miami connection, and they do, and they out. Wow, they just fooled Ed Reed, the legendary goat. Ed Reed just got destroyed. On that pass connection, I'm telling you, it's that Cam. It's that Cam. Imagine we had Cam like FIFA um, inside of Madden Mobile. That'd be kind of crazy. Like just added bonus. Look at this. Look at this throw. And like Tua and Tyreek already knew where that ball. <laughs> Tyreek's like, I played so much with this. Kind of underthrown, but like perfect placement for Tyreek. And Ed Reed just didn't know how to play that, man. That is just... That was just great. But, of course, if we're looking at who we're looking at for the two quarterbacks, who would be the better one? I feel like a lot more people do like the right-handed quarterback um, play style. Honestly, for me, I don't mind having a left-handed quarterback. I kind of prefer it because I played so many years with Michael Vick as the quarterback card. So I'm usually running out left um, and everything like that. So, honestly, that that doesn't uh, affect me. But for some other people I know, that is a big thing. So maybe that's another factor why Josh Allen might be a little better for you. But um, two is still a great card. I want to see if I can throw this right here to Odell. Get it over Ed Reed again. Ooh, we do. Odell's a freaking tank. The meatball Odell is nasty. All right, let me see if I can run this with Tua. Let's see how the coverage is. Oh, I think I got this. I think I got this. I think we can die for that. I think we can do it for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. That should be a touchdown. Honestly, I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that a touchdown for Tua. Let me see if I can run this in with Tua, man. There we go. There's his touchdown. That should have been a touchdown, man. We were over the pylon, dude. Um, But it's all right. It's all right. We're 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 rolling. We're crushing this guy um, in his defense. But, um, yeah, man, Tua is good on the run. He's going to expand. The, oh, I, I stumbled and fumbled there. I was about to pass that ball um but that's all right i don't think my opponent did anything so let's jump into another one all right guys we got our next opponent right here again we are a little bit higher overall but it is staying in the division uh, or the conference i should say not division um going against the ravens right here so we are not playing in the frozen tundra maybe a little hotter weather uh two will get a perfect non no drops or anything i don't think actually we had that one overthrow <laughs> a little bit in that frozen tundra on that tight end uh out and up but honestly cards great regardless like i said um if you're looking at both these quarterbacks you can't really go wrong but i do have to give the edge just a little bit to of course josh allen there um as we're not really passing to our main hitters let's go ahead and hit try to hit cd lamb or see if we get tyree kill again i'm gonna go cd lamb we're gonna take the over on a three-man coverage see how that is bro that was actually beautiful that was actually perfect that was actually a beautiful throw. You guys saw exactly where the pocket needed to be. CD needed to be exactly in that position, in that like coverage, because it was three man coverage, but there was like just a little hole right there. And that ball's right there. And that's caught right by CD Lamb. Great catch. Honestly, to get hit um, by number, who's 32? 32 is Branch. Branch is going to come with a big hit there. And CD's just going to come with a touchdown. So honestly, both these quarterbacks are throwing really really good accuracy balls again i do have to give just a little bit of slight edge to josh allen just because of the animation if he didn't have the animation it's honestly a toss-up it's honestly a coin toss who do you rather have a left-handed quarterback or a right-handed quarterback that'd be the only comparison i would have um but don't get me wrong this this tool card is fantastic too man you guys saw that throw some of these um some of these runs he's having is it's still good it's still good it's still a good card it's just I'm a little biased right here. After having that Josh Allen, I'm like, oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But yeah, man, uh, let's see how he does it like tight end post. We'll go ahead and try to like buy some time, hit Tyree Kill here. So of course, run out of the pocket and boom, throw on the run. And yeah, man, right on target. Tyreek did have to adjust a little bit, but honestly, for a throw on the run, that's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and hit the deep. I think that's going to be Amon St. Brown. Oh, no, it's CD Lamb. Another perfect dot. I don't even think CD turned around turned around like a second just to track the ball, but it was right in his bread basket. Right in his bread basket. You guys will see this catch. So I think his head turns like one second before. Yeah, right there. I, that's when I saw his head turn, um, and boom, right in his hands. Dude, that is actually such a good ball. Man, I'm actually thinking Tua might have a better deep ball, actually. I don't know, man. Even though Josh Allen has better throw power and all that stuff, oh, man, that deep ball is good. But we did have that one overthrow on tight end out and up. But 
This card is fantastic too. Again, I can I don't really have complaints for these guys. And he does a oh that should have been in. That should have been in. That should have been in. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, but okay, we'll keep it rolling. Final one. Let's see if we can get a tie down out and up to work um, in our favor. So let's get this um, to go there. Let's go ahead and get on the right hash just so we make sure we're on the right hash. So it's a little easier for the left side. All right, so we're going to be on the left hash for sure. Or the right half hash for sure. So that means we don't have to flip this play. And we're going to go ahead and hit St. Brown on the route route. So he's running, he's running, and a throw on the run. And it's on the money. It's on the money. So there we go. Let's try that again. We're going to flip it this time. This time, Last time we didn't do so well on the flip. But here we go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We're going to stand in the pocket. Get it out there. Oh, that's just the animation. Maybe it's just the animation there. Because you guys see, if he's not getting, you can see that um, St. Brown's feet. You can see, but tell by St. Brown's feet when he's running into Jalen Ramsey. It's like, it's like he's glitching. Like you see that like back, it's like backing up. See how he like backs up? Oh, that's just the animation glitch. So honestly, maybe two has a better deep ball. Um, you guys can see, like I said, you see the animation where he's kind of like jumping backwards. Um, uh, uh, St. Brown, that probably was on target. Let's try that one more time. Let's try that one more time. Um, again, on the right, on the left hash, maybe on the left hash, not so good, but he might actually get it this time. And yeah, there we go. So there it is, man. We finally got it to hit. Um, Tua's deep ball is really, really good. Um, but again, I, I have to go with that animation of the sidearm sling. It's just a little too overpowered. Um, maybe they change Josh Allen's animation later, but um, I don't know. As of right now, I kind of go Josh. But let's check out Tua's stats one final time. But yeah, again, again, Tua's... A, I'm not trying to not sell you guys on the Tua either. Tua had some really great throwing stats, as you guys saw. So let's just take a quick look. Try to remember what Allen has uh, in the red. So 195, um, his passing is at 184, and the rushing at 173. So if we put in Tua... So yeah, the rushing was a little lower at 169. The passing and quickness is about the same, 184 and 195. Um, mental and physical. So physical, 178 and 81. I guess 78 and 81 for Tua and if we look at Josh Allen you're looking at 76 and 82 so a little bit better a little bit better for two um Josh Allen on the physical and mental as well like we said or no men physical I think Tua actually beats him right 76 yeah 76 so physical Tua has him a little bit beaten and that's a little shocking because Josh Allen can take a hit dude um but of course I want to see the passing stats so of course you guys can see Josh Allen his play action is 178 and the throw on the run is 183 but that deep ball is at 187 and Tua has a deep ball of 186 so lower stats but Tua's making those connections beside that animation glitch he was hitting those deep balls pretty well um but yeah man that's gonna be the gameplay for Tua Tell me, guys, which quarterback you think is better after seeing both these gameplays. Like I said, if you guys haven't checked out the Josh Allen one, go ahead and check it out to see what animation I'm kind of talking about. He just kind of, like, flicks the wrist um, and just throws, like, a dot. But, um, yeah. yeah, that being said, guys, tell me what your thoughts about Team of the Year as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys did enjoy this video. Go ahead and smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so we know we post out any Madden mobile videos and all that goodness, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. Always stay hype, and we'll catch you guys soon. Peace. What's up?